Now we're going to be conditionally rendering or displaying our quiz stats. Now we'll be displaying the stats only if there's a score or a state getting sent or available to this component from the beginning or when it mounts because we don't want a user to just navigate to the application and go to forward slash play slash quiz summary and see information displayed to them. So we'll be displaying components only if there's player statistics available. Now to do that, I'll simply grab my state of the prop so const state is equal to this dot props dot location. Now by default, when there is no states, this will be undefined. But if we get redirected from the play component, this will contain the states which we are sending from the previous component. So I can say if states is not undefined, then we want to display some content, else we'll display something else. Now, to do that, I'll create a variable called um, stats. And then if state is not undefined, it means there is information available to display. So stats should be equal to, for now, we'll just put some dummy text. So we'll return a h1 that says stats is available. Else, not else, but else stats becomes we can say no stats available. Please take a quiz, and then we'll simply return these stats below here. So, stats. Now over in my browser, I'll just reload this quiz summary. We can see we have no stats available. Please take a quiz. And that's because if you look at our props in the location object, the state is undefined. But meanwhile, if I go and take a quiz now, we should have our states point to the state that will be sent from that component. So let me quickly go and take a quiz. So back to my home, quickly play this one. In fact, I'll just click the same option all the way to the end. Okay, quiz has ended. I will come here, we can see that stats is available. So we'll be displaying statistics depending on whether there's stats being sent from the other components. Now back in our application, I'll create a variable or uh, access our score or the user score. So score and the score is going to, I want to create remarks for, or depending on the score the user gets. So we also have a remark variable here. Now if the score is less than or equal to 30, our remark will be we just need a pause score so we'll say you need more practice else if if the score is less than is greater than 30 and the score is less than or equal to 50 our remark will be better luck next time. Else, if this call is less than or equal to 70, and this call is greater than 50, so I'm setting the boundary between 70 and 50, the remark becomes can do better else if the score is greater or equal to 71 and the score is less than 
or equal to 84. It's almost a perfect score. So remark will be you did great. Just add my exclamation marks here and here. Else, it's definitely a great score. So if it's above, if it's not any of these cases, remark will be you're an absolute genius. So, depending on what the user score is, this will be set. The remark will be set to whatever value is here. Now let's just check and I'll close my browser and open a new tab just to check that there's no error. Load that page. Slash quiz slash quiz summary. Okay, good. We have no error, I think. Let me just check my console to be sure. Okay, there's no error. So we're good to go. We can proceed. Now, let's render our content. So if there are stats available, we no longer want to display this H1. We want to display something more complex. Now, the first thing we'll do is to create a... We'll have a div at the top. So div, now this div will simply display an icon, this icon here. So over here in our editor, we we'll have a span. And we'll be using our material design icons to display that icon. So the class name will be MDI, MDI dash check dash circle dash outline and to have a custom class of success icon and that's that for the icon but i'll just give this div some inline styles i'll just leave the styling for now after the div we'll have our h1 that says the h1 return quiz has ended And before I go further, this is supposed to return only one element. So I'll just wrap this in a fragment. Just so there's no div wrappings at the end. Now below the H1, we'll have a div with a class of container. And this is where we'll display our stats. So we we'll have a H4 at the top. And that H4 will contain our remark. So we'll put our remark there. And just come back to your place. Now below the H4, we'll have a H2. And this H2 will display your score in percentage. So we'll have your score colon. I will get that from this dot state dot score dot to fixed i want this um our percentage not to have a decimal place so to fix to be zero and then i want to add the percentage sign next to it so we'll be using the html entity for that which will be and hash 37 semicolon now that will give us percentage for that the next thing we we'll have is kind of like a list. This here is a um, start total number of questions, number of attempted questions, like that, like that, like that. So we'll be using span tags for that. Now this span will have a class name of left, the material class name of left to float it to the left. I'll also give the custom class of stats. Now the first will be total number of 
questions. Now next to it will be the actual number or value. So we have another start here, which will be a span tag. Sorry, another span tag. And to have a class name of right. Class name is equal to right to float it to the right. Now I'll just put these on separate lines for the sake of visibility. And this will contain uh this is class name. This will be this dot state dot number of questions. So this is what our each start will look like. We'll have the label and the value which we'll be getting from our state. Now just duplicate this a number of times for each value you want to display. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll duplicate five times because we already have one. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll add a space after each. But before I even add the space, I want to add a line break after each one so br my space should be like this space br space just to make it easy on the eyes for us to read And there's no need for a bear on the last one. So I have an error. Why is that? Fragment has no corresponding closing tag. This closes this here. Open my div here, close my div here. What am I doing wrong? Let's just quickly check. Okay, this was my issue here. This BR. Okay, there's no error. Now, just after our stats, I'll create a section. Now, this section will simply hold two buttons, a button to play again and a button to go back to the home. They're actually not buttons, they are links. So to use the link, we import, just take, we import link, from React Router DOM. So in our section, we we'll have an another list of links. So UL LI Let's take a link to be to the home page which is for slash close the link and the text to be back to home just duplicate this the second one will be to forward slash play slash quiz let me quickly double check that to be sure I'm correct so that's correct and the text will be play again Now, we want to display the contents of this fragment, which is the player stats, if there is a state, if state is not defined. Otherwise, else, if the state is undefined, we want to simply display no stats available. So I'll just clear my H1. We'll still have H1 though. And to have a class name of no stats, 
and to display no statistics available we don't want to display a blank page instead we just display a message for the user and then we'll have also this same ul so i'll just copy and paste this and just indent properly and of course i'll just wrap this in a section So guys, if, if the state is undefined, we want to return the statistics, the statistics for the user in this fragment. Else, we want to return no stats available, go back to home or take a quiz, which will just direct us to the quiz page. And then lastly, after conditionally setting the contents of this uh, stats variable which we defined up here we want to render that stats variable in our return so stats we are doing just that now at the moment we may or not may we will not get any stats because we have not played a quiz if i visit our application reload why is nothing getting set stats we should see no stats available, but there's nothing. Let's check for errors. Just close and open that again. So localhost 3000 slash quiz, not quiz slash play. That must have been my issue all along. So we can see we have no statistics available and we have our two buttons so in the next video go about actually putting the we've already done that self so in the next video we'll just play a quiz and test out and see that our stats are displaying so thanks for staying with me and i hope you enjoyed this video